hopefully here for the painting faces video if not you're in the wrong place I bought it will save you a lot of time and disappointment going forwards if you are here for the video however you may be one of the few people who find painting faces to be hobby kryptonite actually I say few I know a lot of people that feel that way about painting faces personally painting faces to me is what spinach is to Popeye I absolutely love it such a great way to put character into a model that otherwise I don't think you could achieve now I'm currently in the process of creating a blade guard ancient for my death watch army which will be essentially my avatar in the army as such I am painting a Caucasian skin tone today the techniques I will be using are easily transposed into any other skin tone what I will do over the next couple of days is put a list of paints as substitutes for the paints I'm using today that you can then use for every other skin tone so on to the painting So all of the colours being used are Reaper Master Series, starting with tan skin as the base coat colour. The first shade will be clotted red. The second shade colour will be burgundy wine. The first highlight colour will be linen white. I'll be using pure black for base coat in metallic areas and the pupils and the eyes. I'll be using pure white for the eyeballs and the first, the second stage highlight. In order to progress the basic highlights, I will be adding linen white to tan skin in ever increasing amounts until I end up with just pure linen white. I'll be adding clotted red and tan skin together to make a colour variation for the shades as well as then adding in the linen white to that mix to give a colour variation for the highlights. I'll be adding clotted red and burgundy wine together to make a mid-tone shade. I'll be adding burgundy wine and tan skin together to make a colour variation for the darker shade areas. I'll be using linen white and pure white as the final stage highlight. So having base coated the skin, we start off with the first shade which is a clotted red glaze. We focus on recess areas such as the eyes, around the nose, the jowls and the lower half of the face. underneath the cheeks all areas where you want it to be slightly darker you'll notice I go around the edges of all the areas that will eventually be metal as well as well as put it into the forehead lines and brow lines as it's a glazed consistency don't be afraid to use a bit of water to feather in the shade have a hair dryer to hand to assist with the drying process and where needs be reapply some of the shade to strengthen the colour The next stage is the burgundy wine shade, also a glazed consistency. Focus on areas you want a lot darker, so I paint the eyeballs also just below the eyebrow, under underneath the nose, the, the mouth recess, underneath the bottom lip, either sides of the nose. You do need to be a lot more 
precise with this stage. As it is a lot harder to clear up should you make mistakes. You also notice that I am going around all of the edges of the areas that will be metallic in, in due course. I'll put a little bit into the ear to add definition. to the eyes. I tend to do the eyes at this stage because it's easy for cleanup. I do use a cocktail stick for doing the pupils, sharpened to a point as it gives a, a better dot than a paintbrush. So to begin with I take the white for the pupils and draw basically a line across the area that was previously painted burgundy wine trying to leave a little bit of the burgundy wine showing be aware that you you can tidy it up as I made a slight mistake on the one eyeball using the burgundy wine I also managed to get a little bit of burgundy wine onto the skin so I used a bit of cocktail stick chewed as a eraser which is a handy tip. Having done the eyeballs in pure white we now take the cocktail stick dipped in pure black and apply the eyeball. If you're right handed try to do the eyeball on the left of the model as you're looking at it as it's easy to then line up the right hand side. I then tidied up the eye slightly with a bit of extra white on the one side as I was a bit overzealous. This is why it's done at this stage so that if you do make any significant errors you're not ruining already painted skin. I then take a bit of tan skin and paint the bottom eyelids. This acts as a frame to the actual eye. Many people tend to forget to do this so you end up with a very staring expression. I continue to add a little bit of tan skin around the eyes which was originally red to start adding definition to the face. Although this is a first stage highlight it is just tan skin again in a watered down consistency being applied over the areas in order to cover up some of the red we've painted on as the shade and add in a little bit of definition such as the laughter lines, the nose, the top lip, cheekbones etc. So we're adding a little bit of linen white to the tan skin to make the first official highlight. I'll start with the cranium. Brush strokes are always heading upwards towards the top. I'll pick out the tops of the ears and the earlobe. Cheekbones the brown laughter lines 
lower part of the cheek, the top of the lip. actually paint a, a little bit of the lip here on the, the low lip which eventually will be used with a bit of one of the color variants I explained earlier to change the tone slightly paint the bridge of the nose the nostrils it's very important to be very careful when doing all of this then repeat the other side left aligns cheekbones etc down to the bottom part of the cheek again you notice the brush strokes are always to where I want the final highlight to be as the paint is deposited at the final point of the brush stroke on the cranium I use the side of the brush it's just a way that you can employ the brush to work for you and not have to worry about brush strokes uh, being visible. You'll notice that I've not been overly careful on the the brow lines at this point because I don't want them to be too pronounced currently it will be later later stage highlights where I uh, refine those more so now we've added a little bit more linen white to the mix and increase the highlights in the, the various pronounced places such as the nose, cheekbones, upper lip, laughter lines. This is where I begin to draw out the the brow lines as well. Any areas that are liable to receive more light are, are painted here, so such as the top of the ear. just swapping my brush out as I'm about to start painting the cranium having a larger brush for this bit makes life so much easier again this is a glaze consistency and the brush strokes always towards the top you get a nice smooth glaze making sure that you allow it to dry before applying the next little bit more linen white to the mix for the next stage of highlights repeating again on the cranium brush strokes up towards the top It's worth noting that every single highlight is done with a, in a glaze consistency. Now start picking out areas that we've done before, such as the, the nose, the cheekbones, laughter lines, etc.
corn, I add a tiny bit of red and just glaze the lips just to make them stand out a little bit more to the rest of the face. So here we're adding furthermore linen white to the mix to increase the highlights. Picking out the, the brow lines. At these stages they will become more and more pronounced. Picking out the nose, the eyebrows. Cheekbones. You'll notice that I am doing ever so slightly less each time than I did in the previous stage. Laughter lines. Uh, you'll also notice that I've no longer started to put any highlights on things such as the lower, uh, lower cheek because obviously I want that to be more shade. Just swapping the brush out to do the cranium. Again, upward, upward brush strokes to the top. a bit of a mistake there so I brushed it off with my finger I believe it was a hair or something that appeared and then just reapplied the highlight the downside of having a dog no reason why you couldn't leave it at this stage but I like to push it a little bit further so here I get a little bit of paint into the actual mouth crevice so I use a bit of water on the brush to wash it out and carry on as normal So, as I said before, there's no reason why you couldn't leave it at this stage. So again, adding more and more linen white, so we're almost at the stage where we're pure linen white. And just going along, picking out the, the very, very prominent parts, so the tip of the nose, the, the brow of the nose, the nostrils. I made a bit of a mistake there, so again, use a little bit of water in the hairdryer, get rid of it, start again. Very, very slight onto the uh, cheekbones and the laughter lines. But again, we're only focused on the very upper parts of these features. Drawing out the brow lines and then onto the cranium. I did start with the wrong brush here, realised I was wasting my time, and then switched to the larger brush. Again, this is all in a glaze, a glaze consistency. The video is sped up somewhat. So just bear in mind that 
I do have a hairdryer next to me so in between what seems like almost instant instantaneous layers of paint on the cranium I am actually hitting it with a hairdryer to dry it out before starting on the next layer and I've done a couple of layers at this stage just to increase the the opacity of the, the glaze Also notice that I'm pretty much focusing now on the very top of the cranium and not the sides. So at this stage we're using pure linen white, thin down to a very very thin glaze. You'll notice from the brush that it almost looks like there's no paint on the brush there is however so it's it's such a fine fine layer of linen white because you what you don't want is it to go too chalky this section of the video is done in real time just to show you the uh, the care that's been taken at this point Again, always upwards, upwards brush strokes to the point of the, the highest colour. The benefit of having such a translucent layer of paint is you can actually go over other areas to act as a filter and almost tie colours in where there's a bit of a poor blend. focusing on the very very prominent parts of the ridge of the nose and the eyebrows and the brow lines So at this point we're going to add in some colour variations to add points of interest, starting with the tan skin, clotted red and linen white mix. I'll be focusing on the rear parts of the cheek. The um, jawline, temple etc. Although so this is not a extremely strong highlight but it does add a little bit of definition to areas that are currently very shaded. Such as the jawbone. see from the wet palette here that's the colour I get from mixing the clotted red linen white and tan skin I use this same colour for highlighting the lip as it is a more reddy colour taking a little bit of clotted red mixed with tan skin I'm putting a little bit more colour into the cheeks this acts as a filter between the red and the tan skin I 
just painted a little bit of black here onto the two studs on his forehead just so that I can get a, an idea of what it's going to look like. Now using the burgundy I'm just going underneath the nose. Back to the previous mix of tan skin and clotted red. Start putting a bit of extra colour in around the eyes and the nose. So at this stage I've made the mix of linen white and pure white to do a final stage highlight. Again it's very very translucent, gla uh, glaze consistency. Focus on the very top of the cranium. Prominent parts of the face such as the, um, the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose. cheekbones, top lip, after lines, eyebrows, etc. Less is more here. You really don't need to go too heavy handed. Here I'm adding in a little bit of the burgundy wine mixed with tan skin to sort of counteract the highlights I'm putting in. I'm going backwards and forwards between the two just to add a little bit of more definition. I always find at this sort of stage of the face it becomes more feel than any sort of meth method and this is also why I begin to start base coating the metals etc around this point once I've done that it then Will give me an idea of what to uh, expect. So right here I'm adding in more colour from the um, mix between the tan skin and the clotted red. As I say this stage is very much me just going on with my gut, putting colours where I feel are necessary, what make the model look cool. So here I'll start to base coat the metallic areas black. And it really it really sort of changes the overall look. It very much brightens a lot of a lot of the skin up. very important to be extremely careful here because if you slip with the black you're onto your nicely painted skin which is sacrilege apologies for it going out of the screen here you're not missing much it is me just painting base coat black all over the metallic areas So it really does make it look a little bit different. So 
Right, now back onto the highlights, just to see what, what I need to increase. Now the black's been done. Start to refocus on the lip. Just bring a bit of definition. It is very important to make sure you manage the amount of paint on your brush. If you do have too much on there, it can be catastrophic. So we're going with the white mixed with linen white here and now we're not doing so much of a, a glaze these are more opaque layers just for sort of spot highlights except for here obviously we have you need to glaze on the head if you don't don't glaze on the head, it will look ridiculous. So right now I'm reapplying some of the red, uh, clotted red sh uh, glaze in and around the metallic areas, or what will be metallic areas. Just picking out the ear as I'd actually forgotten it for a, a couple of layers. As I say, th this stage is more feel and adjusting what you've already painted. So having now painted the metals, I've decided to do some further adjustments for the highlights and the colour variations. So here I'm just increasing the highlights on the cranium a little bit further using uh, a mixture of linen white and white. Again, it is a glazed consistency. Pushing the prominent parts of the face, such as cheekbones, brown, nose, etc., with a further white highlight. Sorry, I apologise. Linen white and white highlight. I've decided here to add a little bit more of the red mixed with tan skin into the areas around the eyes, cheekbones, laughter lines, etc. And then go into the uh, highlight which adds the linen white into that mix. This current colour is a mix of tan skin, linen white and clotted red. And then we're actually going back to white there, just to pick up the nostril. So now the head is attached to the model, I need to make some further adjustments on the highlights. So. Focusing on 
the left hand side as we're looking at it but it will be his right hand side I start to bring the highlights up with the linen white mixed with white glaze concentrating on the cheekbones brow and also applying some further highlights to the cranium but again focusing on that one side rather than the whole also the one side of the nose So there we go, one painted face. Hopefully this video has been of some use and I'll catch you in the next one. Been a pleasure, see you later.